Hey you guys, it's LaCosta here with Real Life Love and Me. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel on today. If you are new, welcome. I am so glad you chose to stop by today. If you are returning, thank you so much for being a consistent follower. Before we get into today's video, I want to let you all know that my new posting schedule for my videos for 2020 will be every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I just wanted to let you guys know that so you won't be expecting um, any videos from me on any other days. I wanted to try to really get a schedule down pat and when I don't have anything on those days that will um, hold me up or throw me off my schedule for posting to you guys. So every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will now be my posting schedule for my YouTube videos. So make sure you put that in your notes or on that little sticky note around you so you will know you will not miss any videos that I will be uploading. Also, you can do that by subscribing as well as hitting that bell notification and you will always be notified of when there are new videos uploaded. So, all right, let's get into today's video. Today's video is my 2020 planner line up. Okay, as you see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six planners here. Um, many of you know that I love the flexibility of the happy planner collection it allows me to add in take out redesign recreate however i want to use that particular planner so um most of my planners as you see will be by the happy planner collection and i got a little funny story about this particular planner so stay tuned for that but this planner in the back, this will be my 2020 goal planner. And I will put that link to that video. I just recently did a video on a flip through of this planner, as well as the sticker book that I'm using by Recollections for um, 2020. So I will make sure I will link that video to this video. So let's, well, before I get into my lineup let me tell you all about this so i purchased this particular planner let me go on and line everything up and as you see i have my little pink sticky note so i'll stay on track but if you guys notice sorry i gotta dig it up my collection <laughs> i have two of these planners and let me tell you why I have two of these planners while I was shopping for my 2020 household planner I went to Michael's of course and I found this planner and I was like you know what I didn't want to have the horizontal layout for my household planner for 2020 so let me go on and get this y'all i think i only paid maybe nine or ten bucks for this planner as my planner sisters would say the planner gods was with me that day because i was able to stack coupons okay so i came home and i remember sitting it down with it still being in the bag but I could not remember where I put it. So I looked all over the house, all over my room, everywhere in my car, and I could not find this particular planner. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is holding me back from doing my 2020 planner lineup video. So what did I do? I went out and purchased another one. Yeah, so... I will, I purchased this and I made sure I put it with my stack of my 2020 planner so I wouldn't lose it again. So, 
earlier in the week, I was going through my planner stash of items. And guess what I came across? This particular planner. Yeah. So I now have two of the same planners, which is crazy. Uh, I'm not going to keep both of them. I will do a giveaway in the month of January. And this will be the planner that I'm going to do in a giveaway. And of course, I'll add more items to it. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. You can follow me also on Instagram as well as Facebook that will have the giveaway details in it. But yes, I'm going to give this planner away in a giveaway in twin starting 2020. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, isn't it weird? I have two of the same planners. Ha! Huh? So funny. All right. So since I have this planner, I, I will go on and start with this planner first. As I mentioned, this is going to be my 2020 household planner. So I didn't want anything fancy because for my household planner, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, adding to. Let me just go on and cut this out. And. This is just a simple horizontal layout for 2020. Nothing fancy about this, but I do like the uh, covers on the dashboard. So it kind of leads you into the month of what seasons are coming up and what that particular holiday is for that month, etc., etc. So I like the dashboards and to me it is homey like so that was another reason why I chose it so I like this planner and of course you know guys I will have to add my household um, chores budget projects and other tabs in here so of course I am going to franken plan this particular planner I'm going to do it three months at a time so when I start to do use this planner, it's going to be January, February, and March. I will remove the other months out of here and add those other items and uh, other planner, mm, excuse me, things into this particular planner. But yes, and I'm going to, I'm going to do um, the monogramming for the name. It's going to be Gastonville because that's what I call the household, Gastonville. My last name is Gaston. Of course, I'm going to do um, some lettering on my Cricut machine to add to this particular planner. So, so yes, this will be, and I guess I can go on and move this since I removed it from all of my other planners. You know, this glue dot gets to be a little hectic at times to remove and I don't want to break a nail so I will get that off later so but yes this is going to be my 2020 household planner all right all right how um not how planner number two my personal because I carry it in my purse of course my personal mini happy planner now oh another thing this particular planner has the plastic disc, which is not a big issue to me. So I don't mind using the plastic disc on this planner. And they're kind of cute anyway. I like that lavender color. So, but this planner has the metal disc. This is the homebody person, well, not personal, but yeah, my homebody personal mini planner and i purchased this when heather kale of kale of a plan came to alabama to do a meet and greet a couple of months ago and you guys i think i showed this in my video i'll also link that video <laughs> to um this video she wrote my name in my book from her lettering 
you guys, that just made me love her even the more. So this particular planner is already monogrammed and created just for me. This is the dashboard layout. Uh, where are my sheets? Well, in the beginning of the planner, of course, it gives you the days and that you could put information right there. Here's the monthly layout, and this is the dashboard layout. Now, as you guys have seen in previous videos, I do like the dashboard layout, but sometimes depending on what spread I want to create for that particular week, I will have a different layout for that particular week. That's why I mentioned I love the Happy Planner because it gives me that flexibility to kind of create and style it any kind of way that I want to. So this is my mini planner for 2020. All right, planner number three. This is my faith planner. This planner will have all of my um, daily devotions as well as my Bible study lessons as well as sermon topics in it. Uh, when I attend church. So I've had this planner for a while. And as, as you see, it gives you the SOAP layout, which is scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And on the back of it, you can write down your notes. So I'm looking forward to using this as my faith planner for 2020. In a different tab here, as I mentioned, I was going to use it as well for my sermon notes and my study notes. And one thing our pastor, when I say our, me and my husband's pastor, do mostly whatever sermon he's preaching on that Sunday, he's going to pick back up and give us more of the topic for um, doing Bible study that Wednesday or vice versa. Whatever he will start on on Wednesday for Bible study, he will finish it up Sunday for that particular sermon. So this section is going to be perfect for that and on the back of it it gives you this layout god others and me loving well this week daily reading and i like this because i can add a sheet in here to go for my daily reading because i get the daily scriptures from the U version app on my phone which is the bible app and i can write all the information in here daily reading daily prayer, daily gratitude. This is also another habit tracker as well that you can uh, keep um, in the, that you will have in this planner to keep you responsible and current on your reading, prayer, and gratitude. And also it gives you a section where you can write your blessings for the week and what you are grateful for. And back here, it just has some dot grid note sheets, which I will probably end it up end up adding some line sheets back here so this is my faith planner um that i will be using for 2020 next my social media planner now this planner is new to my collection um i'm growing in social media i have several well i'm not gonna say several but i have a few Instagram pages. I've started with my YouTube channel as well as I have several groups on Facebook. So I need to kind of get my social media on a schedule and everything. And what better, better way to do it than to use a happy planner? Now, this particular cover I pulled from the happy planner journal notebook. I like what it says, bloom and grow, be strong and know you're beautifully you. I'm trying to grow my social media and I'm blooming and I have to be strong and know not only am I beautiful, but that I can do this. So this cover fits this particular planner perfect. And it also has the same flowers on the back. And I just thought that was so cute. So I did write out, I used one of the date sheets and just wrote out some stuff of how I want to start doing my social media planning and everything. And I was just trying some lettering right there. And as you see, not a very good job. So I have a long ways to go with that. But anyway, it um actually, it, it was, a, it started in August actually 
for this particular planner and I think it's going to end in July. So I have planning 2020 planter, planters, planners. Why can't I talk today? Planners where I will be able to just add to this as I go. So this is 2020 um, and as you see, it gives the dates on here. I don't know if I'm going to keep the dates on this side and just do the uh, particular social media outlet at the top or vice versa. But of course, you guys will know what is going on because either way, I will still have the seven days and the seven columns or what I'll be able to track it daily. So yeah, this is, uh, and this was the teacher um, planner from Happy Planner. And it has this checklist back here, which I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet. I was trying to think of something to do with it before I started recording this video and I still have not came up with that idea. So yeah, but of course, you know, you guys, I will notify you of what I'm doing with that. And I love this pocket. May your coffee be strong and your students be calm. It's very cute. I love coffee. I'm actually drinking a cup right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is my 2020 social media planner. Very quickly, because I really don't want this to be a long video, but this beauty is going to be my 2020 journal planner um i saw a video on youtube of one of the planner babes i can't remember her name right now but she uses this as her journal and goal planner and everything and i thought it was a very good idea and as you see it has the metal um disc to go with it which is so beautiful and it says, happy looks gorgeous on you. Yes, it does. So let me show you this particular layout in this planner. Here we go. It has the line and the boxes at the top. And what I said I was going to do with those boxes, I will probably use a word for the day and just journal as I go if I need extra sheets. I have plenty of the half sheets inserts. I would just add that in and put that date on there of that half sheet insert so it'll know so I will know that it still goes for that particular day. So that is what I'm going to use this planner for. Not sure about all the decorating and everything because I love this colorful print that is throughout this planner. So I'm sure I will put a few stickers here and there on it, but not a lot of um, planning. Well, it's gonna be planning, but more so of a journal style planning, but not as many stickers in this particular planner because as you guys know, I do write in my planners. I am a firm believer on leaving enough space in your planner so you can write in. That's the whole purpose of having a planner. That's my opinion only. So, yes. And last but not least, my 2020 goal planner. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I just did a recent video of a flip through of this particular planner. This planner is not a happy planner. This is from the Recollections edition. I was going through my paper, my planner stash and I came across this particular planner and forgot I had it, honestly. My name is already in it and it's undated. So I am able to go through here and um, add the dates in there and everything. And a few things I love about this particular planner is it gives you your goals for the year, a staying motivated sheet. It gives you the vision board layout where you can create your vision board and also not for not only for the year but it gives you a page where you can do your monthly vision board as well and the sheets of where you can uh, keep up with your routine and be motivated by your routine and at the end of that month it gives you your goal tracker where you're able to track your goals that you were able to achieve by that month so 
I love this planner. This planner is exactly what I was looking for for my goal planner for 2020. So this is by The Recollection. Of course, I will put all this information in the description below. But this is going to be in great use for 2020 because I'm looking forward to achieving all of my goals I have in mind. So just a recap on planners. My goal planner. My journal planner, my social media planner, my mini personal planner, my faith planner, and last but not least, my household planner. So that is a total of six planners that I will be using for the year of 2020. And of course, you guys, if I add any more planners to the collection, you know I will keep you in form. So, if you like what you see and you found the information very informative in this video, I would really appreciate if you will give me a thumbs up. Also, as I mentioned, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can be subscribed to my page as well as hit that little bell notification so you will be notified of when new videos are uploaded. So until next time, you guys, smooches.